Hello everybody, it's Matt, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Midget Bear Studios Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. As you can see, we're heading into Scorch, and let's just watch a cutscene really quick. That has to be painful, being suspended in the air by swords like that. Uh, I suppose we should talk to the girl and see what the deal is with this place. Eh. Eh, why can't I hit that thank you? Uh, hello, Greta. Hello, hello Spyro. My brother Handel and I have been sent here to blow up this castle. But Handel got caught by those evil soldiers and I'm stuck out here. If you can open the doors that block the way, I can find Handel and we can complete our super secret spy mission. Sounds good, kid. Sounds good. Uh, I'm totally not going to cheat in this episode. At all. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to exploit the double jump glitch to uh, get myself to a higher place. Psych! Alright. Yeah, I decided that it would be easier and make this go quicker if I exploited the double jump glitch for just a brief moment. And it's totally okay, because I can get back there uh, anytime I want. I can actually go through the level backwards. And I thought that would be interesting, I thought that would be unique. You know, I figured maybe a lot of Let's Players for this game don't do that, so let's try it. Just for the hell of it. I'm actually not gonna do everything going through it backwards, I'm just gonna clear up a lot of it. I just felt bad killing the guys with the guns. I mean, yeah, they're trying to shoot me, but like, they sound so adorable when I hit them. <laughs> All right. Oh, whoops! I said I was gonna do this fairly, didn't I? I lied. Well, I mean, not that it's unfair doing what I'm doing, but, like, eh, it's not entirely legit. But you know what? I don't really care. It works. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to get around that gate, huh? All right. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay. And here we go, and we're in this area now. Oh, this door is already open. Wait, did I did I do that? I did, didn't I? And as you can see, it's all good. I'm right back where I started. I just want to check around for some gems. Uh, sorry if you hear that in the background. That is my dog. He is very loud. All right. Oh, there's a gem up there. All right. Uh, just one brief second. I'm gonna go get that. Kadorj. Oh. As I said in the last episode, I suck. I suck at everything. Wait, wait, wait. She disappeared. Where the hell did she go? That's weird. I wonder if I, like, went all the way through... Yeah, actually, probably. If I went all the way through to the end of the level, if she would be there. Oh yeah, so, anyway, our good friend Hunter is here. Where isn't he? And we are gonna talk to him just as soon as I get these gems. We literally have to help him get a barrel of monkeys. The monkeys have escaped from the, the monkeys have escaped from the Avalar Zoo, and I'm sending you to catch them, but they keep throwing coconuts at me, and it hurts. It's two stars of difficulty. When I was a kid, it seemed like five. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> that guy got hit in the head with a coconut! It's funny, because we're Tom Kenny. But yeah, no, we literally did get hit in the head with a coconut. I just like using references, okay? D Jeez, it's not... Not like it makes me... Ugh. 
I don't think they're the worst form of comedy. I really don't. Some people say that they are. I think that uh, I think the toilet humor and gross out humor is the uh, lowest form of comedy, honestly. But that's just me. That actually has nothing to do with this game whatsoever. But sorry. How oh, we got in the head with two coconuts? Hitting that, I mean. Thanks for your help, Spyro. Please take this. One of the monkeys had it. Were those monkeys or eight? Good question, man. I don't know the difference. I wasn't aware there was a difference. Uh, I wasn't aware that we were delving into crocodile alligator territory. Uh, and the whole monkey ape discussion. Aren't they the same thing? Are, are, I don't know. I don't know. Please don't bother to correct me. I, it's not really a concern of mine. Okay. Here we are. Yeah, we pretty much got everything in this level, so... Well, I say everything, but... There's more to do, of course. There always is. Oh, that was just a snake. Alright. Alright, so what we gotta do, we're gonna get the rest of the gems. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, there is an obnoxious orb challenge that we have to do, unfortunately, but... Uh, can't really be helped. Is that the only one we have? Oh, yeah, besides the hunter one that we just did, yeah. Yeah, there's one obnoxious orb challenge that we gotta do, but... We'll get there when we get there. And we'll get there very soon. In fact, I'm gonna do that before I get the talents that I think shouldn't be too. I was able to do it in two tries in the pre-play, so the problem is it has three stages and the guy you're up against is a complete dickwad. Uh, I'm missing gems though. Gems always come first, dear viewers. Gems always come first. Where are they, Sparks, old buddy, old pal? Show me the way. Show me the light. Oh, yeah. There's a rocket that I can use somewhere for that. Uh... Dang, where is the rocket? Uh, give me a minute, guys. I I feel really stupid, but I actually don't know where the rocket is that uh, destroys that chest. And I feel like it's probably right in front of me, and I just don't have a clue. I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna try the double jump glitch up here again. See if it is there. You know, up there in that area. And if it's not, uh, I have no idea. Well. This is an interesting development. Uh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. Oh. Pfft. 
You know what? I am a moron. Sorry, I thought there was a rocket. No, as it turns out, we can actually just blow up the thing with uh, the super flight power. I forgot that was a thing here. Uh, I apologize for wasting your time. That was my fault. Uh... Alright, so yeah, we gotta go talk to the brother Handel up there. Actually spelled Handel as a classical composer. I just thought that was fun to know. Oh yeah, and you know how the little sister Greta, by the way, parody of Hansel and Gretel, duh. Um, you notice how the little sister talks with the W sounds, and Handel actually doesn't. Um, they changed that in Spyro 3. They gave him a new voice actor, and they did put the W sounds, which... I guess it's supposed to be cute, but I, I find it honestly kind of annoying. But whatever. Whatever. Uh, this episode, or this this level rather, is taking a little longer than I expected. Hello, fat ass baby man. So, you want that flag, eh, dragon? Well, who can play at this coming game? Okay, I know I'm making another reference here, but he sounds like Merrick's father from Yu Gi Oh! Bridge. Ha! You want my flag, dragon? Ha! You little shit, you won't get my flag! All the other of you have been a good boy this year! I apologize. If I apologize for every reference I made- Have I apologized for every reference I've made? I probably have. I'm gonna stop apologizing. I'm going to just stop doing that. I am who I am, bitches. Alright, let's see. So yeah, that the first run wasn't that bad, but like, it gets progressively harder, and he will actually throw the bombs in our face as we chase him, so... We gotta watch out, and also they can ricochet off walls and stuff. Eh, like right there. Uh. 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 Ah, damn you! Huh. All right. All right, you Muppet reject. He couldn't even be a Muppet. His mouth doesn't move. Fuck you! Huh. I hate this challenge. Did I mention that? Oh my God! Huh. Okay. Okay. Alright. It's on now, bitches. Or bitch, rather. He's a bitch. <gasps> oh! You! <laughs> Ha! Huh, faked you out. Oh my god! Cheating never works. I'm in hell, aren't I? <laughs> Between this and the escort mission from Fracture Hills. This, uh, this homeworld actually does have two of the most difficult challenges in the game. Okay, lesson learned. I I'm not gonna follow him up the stairs anymore. I'm just gonna go to the first one. By the way, I don't think I need to mention it anymore, but as usual, the music is awesome. Expertly composed by Mr. Stuart Copeland. Just felt like pointing it out while we weren't really doing anything. Easily? He said I won't get his last flag so easily? I don't know what flag bombing playing game you've been doing, but like, f damn, fuck you. This is not easy. This is not easy! See? He's a douche. Alright. Uh, honestly, if it was not for him, this would be going so much quicker! Uh, <laughs> the 
Every time he throws one of those things, Jesus cries, I think. <laughs> this was like, and of course, of course, I'm screwing up when the camera is on, or well, you know, the, when the recording is on, because this morning I was able to do it. I did free play in three tries. I don't even know why the friggin' bombs are like a threat. They don't even injure me or anything. <laughs> oh, 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 we're almost there. We're almost there! <laughs> I'll just, I'll get back to you guys after I do this. Okay, I did it. I did it. Uh. Yeah, thanks, that makes up for everything. Uh, you make a great secret agent, now uh, handle it, I can complete our mission, blah blah blah, here's a talisman. And now, the scariest thing you've ever seen in your damn life. <laughs> Jesus! What the fuck? I'm pretty sure that they're the bad guys and we just helped out the villains. I'm pretty sure Ripto has some stiff competition and they are the spawn of the devil. That was the creepiest cutscene in the game. No competition. All right. And now we're gonna go, we're gonna do another level. Just one more for the episode. This is Shady Oasis. And similarly to Fracture Hills, we won't be able to complete it all in one go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to backtrack here after we get the head bash move. <laughs> Spyro the Dragon, shaming fat people since 1998. Actually, 1999. Whatever. He probably did it in the first game, too. Alright, I'm not even gonna bother talking to this guy. He wants us to flame the fruit tree because... reasons. Because apparently, eating those fruits turns these guys huge. And this is the place with the rocket I was thinking of. Okay. Yeah, this is... I, I don't know if my music is working, that might just be my earbuds, but I think that the music isn't working here. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh, I can probably make that. Yeah, I can probably make that glide. Um, yeah, this is the sort of unofficial companion level to Scorch, where we just were. Uh, and actually it's weird because Scorch is actually the name of a boss in the next Spyro game. It's interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, this is sort of the unofficial companion to it. It, it, it. I think that's one of the reasons that I like this homeworld so much is because every level has a companion level. There's two speedways which kind of sort of act as companions to each other. There is two desert levels, this and Scorch. There are the Breeze Harbor and Zephyr, and then there is Fracture Hills and Magma Cone, which we will do in the next episode, but that'll be then and this is now, so let's just concentrate on getting everything here. Uh, this is weird. I, I'm, I apologize for the lack of music. As I might have mentioned before, my disc is really scratched up. Um, actually, the, my PS3 that I'm playing it on right now is actually the only system we could get it to work with. 
Uh, so, sorry about that. Uh, it's kind of to be expected that there will be things wrong here and there, so I apologize for that. But I've had this disc since I was six years old, and it has been... It has had the crap played out of it many a time since then. So... I mean, at least the sound effects work and everything. Alrighty. Looks like we got everything in this room, so we're gonna head out. You know, it's another bad guy that makes such a cute cry when you kill them. Oh god, Bob's! I am getting a flashback to the last level. Okay. It's alright. It's quite alright. It's quiet in Europe. I'm trying to censor myself a little bit, because I realize this is an everyone rated game. Why haven't I done this at all before? Because it just occurred to me now. Okay. I, I, I'm really sorry, I wish that the music would play so that you guys have something to listen to while I have my awkward moments of silence. But... Alas. PS1. It's been around a long time. Alright, so I think this is the last door. Uh, all that's left after this is we have an orb challenge to do, and there are a couple more gems. Hello, friend. Bruno. I could make a Sasha Baron Cohen joke, but I'm not going to. Anyway, yeah, this is based on Arabian Nights, so I guess the challenge is that three thieves have stolen magic lamps. Wahoo. Apparently there was just a lot of gems there. Did I go through there before? Yeah, unfortunately, th there's an invincibility power-up. There's a challenge that we're supposed to do regarding that, uh, but it's not going to work because we don't have the head bash move. All right, so you guys know the drill with this mystery vase. Uh, basically, we just gotta chase it around for a while and eventually it will pop open. But we pretty much have to chase it back to the beginning of the level, so I guess that's what we'll do. And in the meantime, we can chase down the thief guys, so. Uh, I can see myself in that one. <laughs> yeah, you, did you see the little yellow dot in the background, guys? That was uh, that was actually me and Sparks. Okay, so one more hit should do this thing in. And kablam! I even managed to do it before the power up ran out. So unfortunately, we have 20 gems left again, but they're in that stupid container that can only be opened with the head bash. So. Yeah, we're, we're just about done here. We just gotta get the last lamp, and then we'll talk to the dude who will give us the talisman. And we'll get out. So, rest assured, this particular segment is nearing to a close. And there will be all the music you could want in the next place that we go to. Die. Ah! Alright, thanks for bringing back the three magic lamps. Here, take this orb. Some fairy left it with me, but it won't hold the proper shine. Okay. Thanks for helping me reach the great berry bush. Now we can eat berries all the time. Here, take this. It's a gift from all the hippos. So, so wait. Are you just like a drug addict? Is that what we just did? We helped the, we helped the bad guy again, guys. He's just addicted to these freaking plants. And... 
he wants us to... Oh, I, I meant to jump into the portal. I, I sincerely apologize. Yeah, no, he just wants us to get him to the plant so that he can eat it all the time. Looking for something else to do? Talk to my friend over there. Hello, Bruno. Thanks again for bringing back the three magic lamps. I don't have anything else to give you. You're a liar. Oh, the cutscene has music. <laughs> I knew it! And that's his supplier! Bruno! How could you? Anyway. And thus ends one of the stupidest jokes I've ever told. Alright, so we got one more level to do here at Autumn Plains, I believe. I'm just going to check the guidebook really quick. Yeah, we got one more. It is the Magma Code, and I think that'll take me a while to do, so we're going to do that next time. It is this level right here, and as I said, it is the sister level to Fracture Hills. This one's actually fun, though. And I'll see you then.